A quick front panel overview includes this. When you turn on the amplifier, uh, you'll see channel 1 on the left. This is voltage metering up to clip. Channel 2 is on the right. There's an internal meter, which is current. So you can actually monitor current and voltage on each channel on the basic front panel configuration. To mute a channel, simply hit mute. To unmute, simply hit it again. There is a lock to prevent people from hitting buttons. Then we can go to menu. Here we can go to display and we can look at output meters in voltage and RMS for both channel 1 and 2. Temperature, 44 Celsius. We can look at how much power it's drawing on a mains meters, 115 volts. We can look at the amplifier name, etc. I'll go back. If I go up to settings, I get a few things. One is amplifier settings. I can adjust output attenuation, input gain and sensitivity, 32 and, and the voltage RMS to get the rated power. I could go to input select. This would select Analog out, analog DSP out, AES out, AES DSP out, or my case op network. There it is. Or with case op direct out. So that's a very important screen. Remember when you engage the DSP, there is a five millisecond latency. I can adjust my output voltage limiters and my max mains current limiter, clip limiters on or off for both channel 1 and channel 2, the gate, and if I would like it to mute at power up or not. If I go to DSP settings, I can change the DSP settings, the common settings for both channels, which is the source selection, if it's AES, my cross limiter, Speed of sound to adjust for strange weather. Um, continuing, I have my channel one settings. This is a place I can actually add a low pass filter, a high pass filter. Change the polarity, change the delay, change the gain. My peak limiter, my power limiter, and damping control and my EQ. If I selected EQs, I can go to PEQ number one and make a selection based on frequency, gain, and Q. Going back, back. Then I can go to my network settings. And again, we see device mode. If it's actually forwarding AES through the KSOP board, you can go to address mode. This would select manual or automatic for its addressing. I can go to set address if it is manual and I can show my net configuration. Going back again, I have settings. I have local presets. I can recall a local preset here and lock preset. And I have my setup menu. This shows my hardware info, the serial number of the unit, the firmware updates, and the lifetime that has been on this particular unit. Remember, we burn every unit in for 48 to 50 hours, so even new units will show that. I can adjust LCD contrast. I can set a key lock code for locking the front panel. And this is a service mode. So if I set a key code, which I will not at this point. All I have to do is press lock, and it, it is now front panel locked. If the code was set, uh, when I hit unlock, it would actually ask me to enter in the key code on the front panel.